Welcome to Marine Gurukul video series. We are happy to present this video on a chart work technique, which is how to have an object at a certain angle on the bow at a given distance of a topic which frequently appears in the chart work exams. In this video, we will be understanding what all data is provided to us in these questions. How do we use the data to make the plot on the chart, ultimately leading us to the solution? We begin our discussion with the data provided to us. We are given the initial position, the object, the bow angle required, and the distance at which the bow angle is to be made. We are required to find out the course to steer to have the object at the given bow angle at the given distance. In this type of question, we first make a rough diagram using the information provided to us and we calculate the nearest distance which the vessel will be from the object. This can be easily calculated using plane trigonometry once the nearest distance is found, it can be used to make the plot on the chart. Let us try to understand the technique using an example. You can see the question on the screen now. A vessel is stopped in position 52 degrees 00, zero minutes north. 007 degrees 00 minutes west. Find the course to steer to have the hook head light 30 degrees on her port bow when 5.6 miles off. Also find the position where this takes place. Let us first plot the initial position of own ship. You can see it coming up on the screen. Let us identify the object, the hook head lighthouse. You can see the hook head lighthouse uh, highlighted on the chart, marked as A. In most of the chart work questions, we are able to plot the data on the chart and get the answer. But here in this question, we are not able to plot any further as the course to steer is not known to us. So how do we proceed ahead? As discussed earlier, we make a rough diagram on our answer script. Let's make it here on the screen. We plot the own ship initial position you can see the initial position coming up on the rough diagram. The lighthouse position plotted as A. Let's assume this red color track which you see in the rough diagram is our course to steer. And let's assume that the required bow angle is made at point B, Bravo. Let's now join A and B. Alpha Bravo, you can see the Alpha Bravo line coming up on the screen now. Alpha Bravo represents the distance of from the light when the bow angle is made. Now we drop a perpendicular from object A to our course to steer line. You can see the perpendicular coming up represented by AC alpha Charlie. Angle C will be a right angle. Now please take your attention to the right angle triangle ABC. Side AC alpha Charlie is the perpendicular. Side AB alpha Bravo 
is the hypotenuse as it is opposite to the right angle. Now using the ratio of sine theta, we have sine of bow angle is equal to perpendicular upon hypotenuse, which in our case is AC alpha Charlie upon AB alpha Bravo. You have the relationship coming up on the screen now. The bow angle is uh, given to us in the question as 30 degrees. The hypotenuse AB is also given to us as the distance of which is 5.6 miles. Putting these values in this relationship, we can obtain side AC alpha Charlie. Side AC alpha Charlie gives us the nearest distance to the lighthouse while moving on this CTS track, which in our case comes to 2.8 miles. Now moving back to our plot on the chart, let's make the nearest distance circle. With our compass centered at the hook headlight and radius as the nearest distance of 2.8 miles, we draw the nearest distance circle. We have the blue circle coming up on the screen now. In the next step from our initial position, we now draw a tangent to the nearest distance circle. The tangent point is named as C, Charlie. This tangent gives us the course to steer. We can now align our parallel ruler and read off the course to steer from the nearest compass rows. Let's now find the position where this bow angle is made. So for this, we now again keep our compass centered at the light, the hook head lighthouse. Radius equal to 5.6 miles, which is the distance off from the light at the required bow angle. We draw an arc to cut the CTS line at point Bravo. You can see the arc coming up on the screen, represented the intersection point represented by Bravo. This point Bravo is the position where the light will be at the required bow angle of 30 degrees and it will be at the required distance of, of 5.6 miles. We now join AC Alpha Charlie to have the right angle triangle ABC on the chart also. You can see the bow angle coming up on the chart. The perpendicular Alpha Charlie coming up on the chart as the nearest distance. So we have now obtained the CTS course to steer as well as the position where the required bow angle is made at the given distance as needed in the question. This completes our plot as well as the solution. I would like to add on something to the solution here. If you observe the plot well, you will see there is a possibility of drawing another tangent line to the nearest distance circle. Let me show you. You can now see another black color tangent line coming up on the screen. So a obvious question comes to the mind. Why have we not chosen this black tangent? Now, if you look closely, you will observe that moving on this black color tangent line, the hook head light is going to fall on our starboard side or fall on our starboard bow. Whereas the question specifically requires it to be on our port bow. 
Hence, this option is intentionally not picked up. This brings us to the end of this video. I hope you find the video useful and if so, please do like and share the channel as well as the video which keeps us motivated. Do subscribe to the channel and write to us in the comment section below. We are also available at marinegurukul at gmail.com. Thank you very much for watching the video. I wish you all the best.